All right, guys, first snake of the day. We're just driving up this mountain road in the morning, and this nice snoring gopher snake is crossing the road. Or Gosh, you grab it. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Look at that guy. Gorgeous. <laughs> there we go. Be nice, everybody. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Brandon Ballard Wildlife. Uh, we're out here in Arizona. Uh, the only thing we are gonna be looking for are green rat snakes because those are the most important thing that's out here. And if we see a green rat snake on one side of the road and we see 12 different rattlesnakes on the other side of the road, we're gonna go for the green rat snake because that's what it's all about out here. Lots over, you know, my beloved EDBs and timbers. Yeah, there there's pretty awesome stuff up here. It's it's hard to and I mean the the scenery like Yeah. It's hard it's hard to pick a favorite. <laughs> Alright, so I was just hiking back to meet up with Brandon and we got this tiny tiny little uh baby greater shorthorn lizard. Look at his belly. <laughs> little polka dots. What a cute little guy. <laughs> That's awesome. Super cool. Another species checked off, baby. All right, so we were hiking for a while for uh, Serbs and uh, came up short and unfortunately got cut short again. You can see those uh, storm clouds. You can see the storm clouds right behind me there. The thunder seems to be getting closer, so we're going to uh, head down the mountain, grab a bite to eat and uh, regroup and <laughs> like the rest of this week, see where it's not raining. Uh, see if we can target uh, more Serbs again, or any Serbs at all. <laughs> and, or uh, maybe later tonight, try for green rats again and Gila's and things like that. So definitely check in later. All right, so we're out here doing some night hiking, trying to find a Gila or a tiger maybe. And uh, Adam found our first herp of the night, which is a little, I believe, a Tucson banded gecko. Really, really cool little guys. Awesome. Another species to add to the list, boys. Yes, sir. All right, so Brandon just found our next find of the night. I see it. It's a black-tailed rattlesnake right there, sitting in some boulders. Nice find, man. Yeah, dude. There we go. He's poking his head out. I don't know if we'll be able to get a better look at him, but we'll give it a shot. All right, here's a better look at this uh, black-tailed rattlesnake that Brandon just spotted hanging out in a big boulder pile. That is awesome. Look at that guy. This is a, a little more desert phase. We're probably 2,500 to 3,000 feet. I think this might be the lowest in elevation I've ever seen one. It definitely has more of the less contrasty look that the desert phase blacktails do. I think he's gonna go. He's kind of looking a little bit. All right, guys, here's another look at this desert phase black-tailed rattlesnake. He's a big one. It's got to be 
at least three and a half feet long, if not four. Nice big animal. Maybe could use a meal or two, but nice looking adult desert phase blacktail. Same species that we see up in the mountains where they have the really bright um, yellow coloration and black bands, but they just uh, look a bit different down in these lower elevation. He's hissing a little bit. I like it. Making well, here comes that hat. Watch his fingers. We can raise it just a little bit to get his back a little bit. Bit. Well, we just got back from a uh, fun little hike, found a couple things, and got back to our Airbnb. And this guy is just chilling in the hallway. Didn't you always want to have a uh, share, a, share a bed with a tarantula? That's fun. <laughs> 